Greetings and salutations. Well, if you're not from the Southwest, you probably have no idea what this is. It kind of looks like an air conditioner, but it isn't. In the Southwest, we use these things called swamp coolers. And it uh, puts water through a pad. There's a pad behind here. And uh, it, uh, it pulls air through. Well, I've been working on this one for a while now. And I put a new pump in it, replaced this one, and I realized after I got it open that the pump I replaced was do over double the power of this one. This one still works, it just makes some noise. And the uh, guy at the um, Lowell's told me that if you put in too powerful a pump, it oversaturates the pads. I don't know how or why, and it doesn't work as well. And it hasn't been working that great. The air is working. I mean, it blow, blows the air into the house, but it doesn't feel as cool as it usually does. So let's open this thing up. Oh. Okay. Now, as you can see, there's water pouring down there. It pours into this channel here. And from this channel, it goes into this pad. And the pad seems plenty wet. But, uh not doing the trick. Uh, I was told to check the channels. There's channels in here that channels the water from from up here into the uh, into the uh, into the pad. The pad seems nice and wet, so that's not the issue. See, the water's running just fine. So I'm going to open up the other side. on it. Um, the one being the fan. There's a motor that powers a simple air blowing fan and that's the water pump I was talking to you about. I put a big one and found out that this that's a thousand or eleven hundred and this is a five hundred. And what I'm going to do is try the old pump for a little while and see if the cooler works any better with that. So the only other component is the thing that lets the water in. There's a water line that comes from the inside the house or outside on a spigot. And here's what looks like a toilet bowl float. And it lets water in whenever the water is drained out enough. And it's a closed system, so it evaporates, so it's going to need water, especially after running through these panels. And you can see this is the wood, the, the wood panel thing that's on the outside um, that the water goes into and it gets absorbed and it, there's a cooling effect from the air going through the wet panel. They don't use these down south because I mean they don't use these uh, in the, anywhere where there's a lot of moisture because the wetter it is the worse they work. I mean there's only the humidity affects the uh, the way it uh, the humidity affects it. If it's low humidity, these things work great. But if the humidity gets high, so whenever we get monsoon season, we get a lot of rain. It doesn't work as well. So I have enough plug right now. So I'm going to disconnect it. It's really really simple. Uh, there's a water line. Let's see if you guys can see this. There's a water line that goes up to this, up to this uh, octopus-like thing over here, and that distributes the water to each of the pads. So enough of the making y'all dizzy. Let's sit you back down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the old pump back in for a little while. See if it works. 
work, I don't know what the heck it's going to do because that's the only other thing that could be causing this problem. It seems fishy to me that Dang it.